Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Did Steve Reeves ever achieve the perfect classic physique? In the opinion of many, still to this day, Steve Reeves is considered to be the perfect bodybuilder. One that possessed the most perfect classic physique of all time. In the last video, we looked at Steve Reeves' recommendations for developing a classic physique using the standards of symmetry as described in his book, Building a Classic Physique the Natural Way, as follows. And these measurements depended on the size in inches of his wrist, ankle, head, pelvis, and knee. However, did he achieve such proportions? Today we will analyze Steve's physique against his own guidelines and recommendations and see if he indeed did build the perfect classic physique. Steve's top four measurements are listed and provide us with an idea of his godlike proportions. Looking at Steve's own top measurements, we find that Steve was 6 foot 1 inch and weighed 215 pounds. According to his own chart at 6 foot 1, the ideal weight of a bodybuilder should be 210 pounds, give or take 10 pounds, so yeah, he fell within the ideal range. We can also see that Steve developed a perfect ratio between his biceps, calves and neck, which he always mentioned should be equal. But were they and were the rest of his measurements in proportion to his own guidelines for the standards of symmetry? Well, we do have in this table here the size of his wrist, ankle and pelvis, and although the head size and the knee size are unknown, we can still work with the measurements for the ankle, pelvis and wrist. And it's very clear now that in this table, when we use Steve's guidelines against his own top four measurements, most actually match with what he actually recommended. However, we do also see that Steve falls short, especially in the chest area. However, does it really matter? I don't think so. Just seeing his amazing photos, you know, Steve Reeves' physique was incredible. And in all honesty, nobody ever came up to him on the street with a tape measure. People simply were in awe. And in defense of his own principles, he did keep his arms, his calves, and presumably his neck close to his own guidelines for a classic physique. And, you know, keeping up to the classic physique proportions, uh, the guidelines that he actually listed, which as he always stated as well, were to keep the neck, biceps and calves exactly the same. One other principle that Steve had for bodybuilding, which we have not addressed, is that he always preached training wide to be wide using wide grip bench presses, wide grip chins, behind the neck press with a wide grip, and so on. Steve stated that one should strive for wide shoulders and not emphasize the trapezius and oblique development too greatly. Interestingly, Steve states that he got his idea of formulating such classic physique proportions from looking at Jack LaLanne, who had already at the time a 20 inch difference between the measurement of his chest and waist. But Steve decided to go further than that and tried to develop a 24 inch differential between his waist and chest, which became one of his major goals. And he almost achieved it, achieving a 23 inch difference. His goal also was to develop a two foot shoulder span. And again, he came mighty close to it. So did Steve Reeves develop the greatest, most perfect physique of all time? He may not have followed his guidelines to the letter, but I definitely think that he developed one, if not the most perfect physique of all time. And so does Arnold. Have a listen to this. You know, I still think that Steve Reeves was the greatest of all time um, because of the kind of the beauty he had on the body and all that stuff. It's just like in the old days when Steve Reeves walked on the beach, people just stopped cold. And they said, oh my God, would I love to have a body like that, right? And, uh, and so that is really what it is about. And, and what does that say? That, that says that the, everyone out there says, that's the kind of a body I want. There you go. If you have enjoyed the video, please give the video a like, subscribe and click the bell button. And please leave me your comments. I'm thinking of starting a series on Leroy Colbert as well as continue my coverage of the old-time strongmen of the Bronze Era and introduce the old-time strongwomen from that time too. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section. That's coming up soon, so stay tuned. And until next time, this is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye for now. 
Now, if you're interested in learning more about how Steve Reeves developed his ribcage, I've got a wonderful new e-booklet up on my website, www.goldenerabookroom.com, which explains a very rare and unpublished Reeves ribcage and full body routine. Of course, my website has many other booklets on Steve Reeves' methods, specifically how I develop my waist, how I develop my broad shoulders, and another ebook on how he developed his wonderful diamond-shaped calves. All available on my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com. Online training is now available, including my new program, Novice to Classic, a program geared towards beginners and novices looking at developing a classic physique, as well as Classic Cut, geared at those who wish to lose weight and gain muscle fast. Details available at www.goldenerabooking.com. Need a bodybuilding poster for your gym or office? Then check out ironmanmagazinearchive.smugmug.com for the highest quality posters on the planet. Scroll through the galleries of all the legends, including greats such as Arnold, Frank Zane, Sergio Oliva, Serge Nubre, Tom Platz, and Larry Scott, and much, much more, and select your poster now. As a natural bodybuilder, it is imperative to know your own testosterone levels, as they are a reflection of the anabolic environment created by your diet and training. I would highly recommend using the male hormone test kit from Let's Get Checked, and make sure you use my code GOLDEN30 for a 30% discount. Again, the advantage of checking yourself regularly is that you will know how well your body is anabolically primed to put on the much desired muscle you are working for. Get your gym wear and golden era apparel at the new golden era tees shop featuring designs from the silver era and golden era legends available as tanks, shirts, sweatshirts and hoodies in all sizes and colors. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm for merchandise including t-shirts, hoodies, phone cases and much, much more. Once again at teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. If you're a fan of old school bodybuilding, then make sure to check out Subs the Movie. Filmmaker Alex Ardenti explores the $40 billion sports supplement industry, delving into the origins, evolution, and current state of supplements used by millions of fitness enthusiasts worldwide, available at Amazon and Vimeo.